everyone so today i have a really cool video because i'm excited about it this is my new concealed carry gun it's a sig p365 so i've been wanting to get one of these since they released pretty much and um, i basically just decided to wait because i wasn't going to be concealed carrying much when i was in station in hawaii now i'm in a more gun friendly state so here it is. This is the SIG P365 TAC Pack. And um, it caught my eye at the time because it came with three mags and a holster. This right here, this is, uh, I'm just gonna spoil it for y'all. This is a pretty uh, disappointing holster, but I am happy I got the three mags. In the end, I'll try and give my opinion on if it's worth paying uh, the extra amount of money to get the holster and one mag, because the holster, in my opinion, is pretty trash but we'll uh, we'll continue with the review so what came with it obviously the the gun the three mags this holster with these uh, clips that kind of slide over your belt uh, well this kind of I think this slides over your your pants and then this goes under your belt and that's how it re remains locked this is the configuration I used when I carried it for a couple days in this holster or you can choose this one um, which these kind of suck as well because you have to thread them to your through your belt first and it came with the manual just your normal user manual takedown manual how to clean it where to put oil where not to and then its own little manual for the holster which it is an ambi holster so some of y'all might like it it did come with an allen wrench to adjust the retention it has a single retention screw I have this one pretty much set up for the best retention for the gun for my use right now. So I'll show you all that right now. It has a chamber flag, so. Show you all that it's clear, no mag. And I guess I'll show you all the holster real quick. So as far as the holster goes, it's not that bad. They did make a one size fits all holster. So if you have the XL slide, this is the same holster, so you have a lot of empty space in there. I wish they would have made one specifically for the P365 so that it the whole package was shorter, but that's not even the reason I don't like it. So it's all mainly because of these clips. They come out by twisting. So when you have this in your pants, and let's say you pull your pants on right to go to the restroom, whatever reason, that gives the ability for these clips to move, for the belt to slide over this, and for this holster basically to be junk and not keep your gun secure. And then if these clips fall out, when I are having to do these clips while you have a loaded gun, and it's very annoying. I just, I wish they, they would have done better with this holster. It's, it's disappointing because I, I really love the idea of a, this package that came with a holster, came with the three mags, and came with everything you need, right? And then just for them to have done this. But I guess that's enough ranting about the holster. I do have a, a new holster, which I have a review out about this holster. This is what I used to replace the, the one that came with the tack pack. I have my own separate review. This is the Blackhawk stash inside the waistband holster, and this is much better. I love this thing. It keeps the, the form of the, the gun, like keeps everything nice and small. And it, this single clip that I don't have to worry about it undoing itself like this one. And uh, it, it does a really good job. I've loved carrying this, the gun in this holster uh, much better than with the other one. So I already showed you all what was under here. The case isn't much to talk about. It's just a normal plastic case it is more premium than some of the other guns i bought my wife a smith and wesson easy uh, uh in 380 and that thing came with a cardboard box so at least it gives you this and you can lock it and you you can travel with it tsa will let you use this uh, case to travel with the gun at least the last time i flew with it i use this as a case you just have to put a lock on each side so they can open it and make sure there's no mags in the gun even if they're empty because TSA complains that they can't touch your gun to make sure that the, the mag's empty so you might get delayed 
As far as uh, everything else, the magazines, I mean, they're really good mags. SIG always makes quality stuff. They're 12 rounders. So you have three 12 round mags right off the bat. And it's, it's really neat because I mean, these mags are expensive. So I like having three at least. It comes with this gun lock. I don't really use gun locks too much, but if you're gonna travel with it, you wanna throw this on there. Makes everyone at the airport seem feel a little safer, whatever. Um, throw it in there. And then your clips for your holster. Everything fits under there. Chamber flag. I guess now we'll get to the gun itself. I love this thing. It has um, night sights. I don't know if you can see them very well, but. And then the finish on it, it's, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know what kind of finish they put on this thing, but it doesn't look like it's been scraped off by the holster in any way. It seems to be a pretty hard and resistant finish. Uh, the main thing I, that attracted me to this gun was how small it is. Like basically I can cover it with my hand and super easy to conceal. I used to conceal a Glock 19. This is much smaller. It's better, in my opinion, for, for my purposes. The only thing I don't like about the gun, and it's super annoying, is the rail. This rail right here is proprietary to SIG, and you have to buy like lights that are meant for this, or like basically you can't throw any Picatinny rail um, accessory on here. You have to buy their rail. I have seen a Recover Tactical adapter that you can throw on here. The only thing I don't like about that adapter is once you throw that adapter in there, then that means it won't work in my holster anymore. It won't work in this holster anymore. So to me, an adapter isn't the solution. Uh, I feel like SIG should have just put a normal rail on here like every other gun manufacturer does instead of trying to get extra money out of you by making you buy their, their equipment. But besides that, I mean, it is a small gun and I did basically want to have it as slim as possible. So it's not that much of a deal breaker for it not to have a, a light rail that fits any light that I already have for my other guns, but it is a little annoying. Uh, the one thing I did like about this gun is the ambidextrous uh, mag release because I am a lefty. So I had it switched over when I bought it. very easy to use with my left hand now versus when this was on the right side like it, it just super hard super annoying to to depress and then on my smith and wesson shield i even had an issue where that one didn't have a ambidextrous mag release and sometimes when i squeeze the gun a little too hard it dropped the mag so that's the reason i lost faith in that as my concealed carry gun as well so i'm very happy that at least they made this ambi for everyone This um, gun is um, actually very, very nice. And I'm gonna take it to the range and do uh, my first shots video, basically, like uh, my first few rounds, and just show you all a quick little group that I'm, I'm gonna shoot with it. I'm gonna do a part two of this video and I'm gonna shoot an actual, probably 200 rounds through it, just to kind of break it in. I know that's not actually like a full break in, but I don't have a whole lot of ammo to shoot right now. I wanna save as much as I can. So I think 200 rounds should be fair. And uh, I'll do some drawing from concealment with the with my Blackhawk holster, as well as with this one, just to show y'all. Cause some of y'all might like this holster. Like I know I talked a lot of bad stuff about it, but it may, it may not just be for me, but it might be for you. It might work out for you. It might suit your, your needs just fine. 
or you might be able to modify it. I'm actually trying to think of a way to modify this and maybe hook it onto a, a backpack or something so that it stays secure in there when I want it, just a backpack gun and uh, it'll keep it secure in there. Anyway, I really appreciate y'all watching this quick little unboxing slash uh, quick review of the P365, which is gonna be my number one uh, concealed carry gun. I'm still gonna carry my 19 every now and then. I'm still gonna carry the the shield from time to time, but I like I said, that one scares me a little bit because I, I've dropped the mag once or twice before by squeezing the gun a little too hard. So I don't know what happened, but maybe my ream or something was causing that to happen, but it, it didn't happen when I first bought it. But once I did it once, I, I kind of thought about it and I don't like it anymore. And well, if y'all are looking for a nice concealed carry gun, I, I really love the SIG and uh, it's done me well so far. And I hope I can bring all that extended range um, footage next week. So y'all can see me shoot about 200 rounds through it do a couple of drills on some steel plates and just show you overall what, what this thing can do. But, all right, thanks for watching and please uh, like and subscribe.